holds water. You may have heard someone say that a decision, argument, or plan holds water and therefore approves of it. Your business plan holds water. Your loan is approved, the bank manager might say to you. You might be telling your brother. It sounds like you've thought about it carefully. Your decision seems to hold water. On the other hand, you could use this idiom in a negative sense. Holds no water to mean that a decision, argument, or plan makes no sense. I'm sorry, but your plan for a tech startup holds no water. Is anyone really going to sign up? A venture capitalist might say to an entrepreneur. Doing something because everyone else is doing it is a reason that holds no water, your parents might say to you. As you can see, if something holds water, then it makes sense, is sound, is strong, or is logical. If something holds no water, then it is senseless, is unsound, is weak, or is illogical. The idiom holds water has been around since at least the early 1600s and is a metaphor for any type of container that should carry water. For example, if a bucket has a hole in it, it is useless and holds no water. Thus, you can easily imagine that a related idiom, holes in it, means the same thing as holds no water. Your idea has holes in it, or your idea holds no water, you could say to a friend who has told you their ill-conceived plans. On the other hand, if you think your friend's plans are perfect, then you might say, your idea is watertight. Do you think my five-year plan holds water? Your entry-level colleague might ask you during lunch break. A local politician might write, on her blog. As was demonstrated, the government's plan for saving the local economy holds no water. So, if you believe in something, say that it holds water. And if you don't believe in something, say that it holds no water.